John Edwards back with you here inside the East Side Center. The Screaming Eagles of Southern Indiana, your champions here for the 2020-2021 season, joined by head coach Randy Raff. And coach, congratulations on the first conference or for the first conference championship since 2004. You dropped the first set, but then you guys seem to hit a stride in that second set. Talk about the match. Yeah, you know, the match the match was kind of exactly what I thought it would be. Um, s and is a really, really good team, and I, I kind of knew that it was going to be a tactical ba battle between the two of us because we're very similar, you know, teams and style. And I think Andy's approach, I, uh, shout out to Andy because he's a great coach, and, and I kind of anticipated that it would be a match that we would take some time to settle into and figure out kind of our – the, our, you know, the proper defensive execution, the proper, you know, whatever alignment we were trying to find. Um, and so I kind of knew that. And so I think the key was just uh, weathering the storm, uh, you know, up front and, and finding the right defensive execution. Yeah, you, you had four girls today defensively with double digits and digs. And really, I felt in, in the match here today, it was more of a team effort here today because you were asking some things from some girls you had a some of your players get on the court for the first time today even? Um, well, you know, I, I have to push back on that. Our women have been prepared for this. Um, the women on the bench are bought in. Uh, the women on the bench are incredibly talented. We're way deeper than our, uh, our little 12 uh, roster shows. Um, and so, you know, I got to push back on that. I had a total faith in the, in the changes that I made, total faith in, in the players that we had to give a breather to to get back out there. Um, you know, they... <laughs> Credit to them. They just they just have bought in, and and I think um, their confidence is continuing to grow for sure. No NCAA tournament this year. How bitter sweet sweet is it here this weekend to win a conference championship? Oh, there's no bitter, man. This is just all sweet. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Coach, I appreciate a few minutes and best of luck uh, as you go into next season, which will start pretty soon for you. That's right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Randy Raft, the head coach for the Screaming Eagles of Southern Indiana. Back with Casey Sapicki, the th third all-time in school history in assists and uh, really set the tempo for your team here today. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Talk a little bit about the weekend for you guys. You drop a set for the first time all weekend. And uh, talk about how today you were able to utilize the pins on the outside. And you, you were a little bit more successful today, and you had a little bit more breathing room not just having to go to one player. Yeah, you know, all of our pins, actually all of our players are ready for this match. Um, I actually have been adjusting my sets and keeping them off the net so that they have options, not trapping them into the block. And I think that really helped them see what was on the court and hit those, those shots that would score. So they did a good job seeing that and hitting that. And yeah, I pulled them off the net, so. One of the things I noticed about you today and throughout the weekend was any time that the ball is headed in your direction, you take just like that little peek to see what you can do. And yep. you, you wind up, get, you wind up make you're very successful at doing that. And talk about your strength in being able to kind of maneuver where you want the ball to go here. Yeah, you know, every single week, twice a week, we get in with our setters coach and assistant, Brian Vestiba. And all of us actually work on our vision. We do a lot of different drills. So we've been practicing that for about two years now, and we're finally starting to get it. It's a hard thing to do, but we watch and see if those blockers shift at all, and we go the other way. So that's my job, and I hope that I create seams for my hitters, and then I hope that they hit them. So No NCAA tournament for you guys this year. How sweet is it for you to go out as a senior on top? It is very sweet, especially since the team and I have been doing a lot of sacrificing. Um, we've been sticking to our bubble. We haven't been seeing anybody but each other for the past six months. So it, it's sweet. It tastes good. Thank you, Casey. I appreciate a few minutes and go celebrate with the rest of your team. Thank you. Casey Sapicki joins us. Joined now by Taylor Litigan. 15 kills on the afternoon and seemed like you were having you you were having a lot of success here early on and things tightened up as the match went along for you but you seem to find more openings during the course of the match maybe than you did the rest of the weekend mm -hmm. um i think this match was just a, a big one and i trusted everybody everybody was next level for this game i i knew that no matter what i had a lot of attempts i had 15 kills is off of however many attempts that I was actually blocked and my team covered and we were able to keep the ball in play. I mean, it's just, 
It's a team effort. I only got those kills because of everybody else. Three errors for you today in 40 attempts. Your attack was 300. Pretty successful afternoon, if you ask me. And it, you, you seem like a person who won't take credit for what happens this afternoon, and you'll defer to your team. But how easy is it for you getting set up by Casey throughout the weekend? How easy? Oh, uh, Casey just – she – we connect well. Honestly, I connect well with Kat, too, when she's setting. They always know where I am. Even if I'm in the wrong place, they hear me, and they it's its always a good connection, and we find a way to get it to get it done, try Def to keep it in play. Defensively, you were digging the ball just as much. Uh, talk about the success for the afternoon from the team as far as a team defensive effort. Oh, my gosh. I trust my passers. Sorry, it is about everybody. I mean, I everybody is – all over the floor all the time it doesn't matter I know that if I'm not in the right place if I don't put a ball down if I'm not in the right place on the block or whatever I can trust my back row to dig whatever comes they're so good at moving they have great range and I just it really is a trust thing I just know they're going to get it they get, work hard you get to come back next year mm -hmm. uh, no conference you get to come back as conference champion you'll be a senior next year mm -hmm. No NCAA tournament. How special is it for you to get a championship this year? First time since 2004 for the program. It's so special. Um, my first year here, we were not in this position. We were more losses than wins. And it just, Randy came in, she changed the culture. That's the biggest thing for us is we, we just love being around each other. We, we trust each other. We play well whenever, it doesn't matter what the score is. We could be down 10 and we could come back because it doesn't matter. I just... Our mindset is so strong, and it, it's so great to be here. I don't know. It's it's so exciting. I don't really have a lot of words <laughs> for it. It's awesome. Taylor, thank you so much for coming up, and congratulations on the win this afternoon. We look forward to seeing you hopefully back here next year. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor Litigan, junior from southern Indiana, coming upstairs. She led the team in the attack with 15 kills here today. That's going to wrap up our coverage for volleyball here this weekend from the Eastside Center.